little kitchen boy. I'm hungry. What's up everybody and welcome back to Two Dope Kitchen. Today we're going to be making some amazingly delicious as Philly cheesesteak spring rolls. Now listen, y'all know I'm from Philly. Y'all know I fucking love my cheesesteaks. Now I have some extremely thin sliced steak right here. Now I sliced it myself. Now if you can't slice it then go ahead. Now I have some seasoning from one of my homies. Uh, her YouTube channel is called Jersey is Naked. Uh, Make sure y'all go check her out. She sells spice blends and they are fucking to die for. Like these are amazing. Like everything you need is in one fucking seasoning. Like this is for beef and I don't need salt. I don't need pepper. I don't need garlic powder. I don't need none of that. Everything I would use is in this one container. And I definitely think y'all should check her out. I'm going to put everything in the description. Now go ahead and season it generously and add some uh, vegetable oil in there and just mix it up completely. Um, it should be easy to work with. Again, y'all, I'm using thinly sliced steak. Now, if you can't find it already sliced, then go ahead and buy like the steak that you would get like four cheese steaks. They come in a box. You can use those. Those work just as fine. I just wanted to use some authentic steak here. Yeah, just go ahead and mix that up. And that's really all you have to do. Now we're going to go ahead and move forward with the onions. We're going to start cutting up these onions and making sure the onions are going to be nicely sliced, very thin. For this recipe, make sure that you don't have the onions too thick. I can't emphasize that enough just because it's going to make your life harder when it comes to rolling these up later. And yeah, you can't have a cheesesteak without onions. Come on. Like if anyone wants to tell you that anything differently, they are fucking lying to you. I'm telling you, you cannot have a cheesesteak without fried onions, at least. All right. Now I'm going to also pretty much do the same thing to these peppers. I'm going to go ahead and julienne these peppers. Um, it is something very, very therapeutic about like prepping vegetables. I don't know if I'm the only person that feels like this, but I fucking love to prep vegetables. Um, it's just, I love the colors, I love the smells, I love how pure vegetables are, you know? It's just, it, it makes life easier. But yeah, again guys, we're gonna go ahead and julienne these peppers. Um, I'm using red and green bell peppers now. If you know, if you can find the ones in a jar, you know, go ahead and use those. Um, you can use banana peppers, you can use hot peppers. You know, whatever you want to do, it's kind of up to you, but you know, I recommend just using my recipe. I'm using bell peppers. Just cut them up nice and easy because we're going to go ahead and saute these. We're going to just put a little color on them. Um, and that's really it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add some vegetable oil to a pan and we're going to add all of our veggies in there. Um, this is the part when it gets really fun. Just let that cook up a little bit. Um, now you want to go ahead and add your bell peppers in there. Get it nice and sauteed. Um, now this is the point when I would add like salt and pepper, but because I have this amazingly delicious ass spice blend, I'm going to go ahead and use some of that spice blend in here. So yeah, there we go. Hold on a second. Now I'm going to add some of that spice blend in there. Um, why, why not just add extra flavor to it? It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, you just want to make sure you keep it moving. Um, I'm going to go ahead and saute these up, make sure it's nice and nice and golden. You don't want them to burn. That's that's very important not to let them burn because they're gonna continue cooking even when you add your meat. So you wanna make sure that you prevent it from burning. Um, and yeah, just move it. And now mind you, my heat is on high um, right now. Just because we're working on high heat, we're, we're moving fast, we're not, and nothing is, nothing is low. You know, this is not a process that, you know, can be a low and slow thing. This is very high. You wanna make sure you cook all of this real fast. Yeah, and as you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm kind of breaking up the, the beef a little bit more in the pan as it cooks. Um, not too much, you know, the way I sliced it is pretty perfect for a cheesesteak. Um, but I'm just breaking up just a tiny bit more in here, just like that. Yo, look at that. Oh my Lord, have mercy. That is so fucking amazing, fucking delicious. Yo, if y'all can only smell what I smell right now, y'all would be like, this shit is so amazing. Like, I know y'all gonna love this when I make it because 
come on. If you've had a cheesesteak before, you know, it, this is really popular anyway. But yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and just take the spring roll, I'll put a slice of provolone cheese down, um, and just go ahead and add your, your cheesesteak mix in there, and that's what you wanna do. You wanna go ahead and roll it up first, kinda like a burrito. You know, make sure you seal it on all sides so no oil gets in it at all. Egg wash mixture I have here. Just a little bit of this one egg and a little bit of water. So. Yep, and now I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in the fryer. Um, now if you have a deep fryer, this will work so much easier. But because I just have a pan, it's whatever. I'm just gonna use this and drop all my spring rolls in there. And yeah, make be careful not to overcrowd it. Um, this is perfect. I could fit about four in my pan without an issue. It's important not to let these burn. As you can see, you can physically see how fast these are burning. So don't let these burn at all. Now, because I'm using the pan, these do get a little bit hotter. It's kind of uneven. That's okay though. This gonna be this is gonna be fucking delicious. And go ahead and drain these. And there we go. These can be found at any Chinese store in the fucking city of I promise you. Anywhere in fucking Philadelphia, you can find spring rolls. Yo, y'all make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And give it a thumbs down if you didn't. And if you're new, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also turn on my notifications if you want to get notified when my videos drop. Yo, until next time. Peace.